morning guys how are you doing this morning we are gonna go to Dollar General got five dollars off twenty five dollars and we have to get the last of um, the school clothes which are basically under clothes underwear undershirts things like that and I'm going to get the electrolyte drinks because they're buy three get one free and uh, yeah it's pretty much what we're doing right now I'm gonna let Abigail pick out her underwear that's a special thing, you know. She got potty trained at three. So, uh, she's four now, almost five. Time to buy more underwear again. Oh my gosh, those deer flies are out today. That is not cool. Oh, this is still clean. I just have some stuff that is not staying here in this house that we got rid of. <laughs> We're getting rid of, so that's going. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get my shoes. I don't know if there's enough room for me to even get in the car because he parked it right next to the thing, so we'll see. Oof. It's windy out today. I like to see it. So I learned long ago, like probably the first week that I had my first child, I learned a very valuable lesson. When you get sick and you're a single mother, it doesn't matter you still have to get up and feed your kid. <laughs> I learned that very quickly because the baby won't stop crying. Doesn't matter how many times you puke when you stand up, um, you need to feed the baby. So that was like a very rude awakening being a single mother, very young. Um, but it has remained true throughout my entire life. You have to be self-reliant. And the first baby was me. No, it wasn't. Hmm? You're the last one. Raphael? No, it wasn't. Who? Zeb. Oh. Oh, yeah. They keep forgetting that he's my son and not my brother or something. I don't know. Who is Zeb's brother anyway? Raphael. And you are his sister. So, anyway, let me get off of here because there's an ant crawling. Um, so yeah, you have to be self-reliant and you have to be very resilient and you have to not, you can ask for help, but you have to not expect it. Yeah, Never expect it because nothing's guaranteed, but you, you, you can guarantee on yourself if you put effort into it. You yeah. can always do everything that you want to do if you put effort into it. That ant isn't this any old ant. It's a new kind of ant. Okay, we're going to go to the Dollar General and we're going to get some underwear. How about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Got to go to school this year, you know? Does anybody ever use the uh, $5 off $25? I think it's a good deal. You can get those um, drink sticks, that the Tang sugar-free ones. Um, you can get a box of those for a dollar. So if you get 25 of them, you get $5 off. I mean, that's pretty good. That's cheaper than um, any other store ever, so... And usually I get my um, my detergent uh, on Saturdays, but hi. You hi. ready to go? You slapped in? Slapped in. Are you snapped in? Okay, sit up straight. We ready. We going. Going, going. There is a church yard sale today, and I am pretty sure this is the first time I've ever said, well, I have everything that I need, so I don't need to look for anything. Guess what, guys? What? I'm going to be five when it's my birthday. Me too. What? Oh. I'm going to be five. One, two, three, four, five. See? Guess I'm what else, guys? Guess what else? Yeah, We're going to wear a mask even though it's not mandated here in Florida anymore. <laughs> right? Yeah. Hopefully Walmart will be 24 hours again very tick, soon. Tuck, That's all I'm tick, waiting on. Tuck, tick, That's tuck. right. That is pretty. I mm -hmm. like that. It's made out of flowers. Oh, look. Oh. That one doesn't have a price. It's $12. The, the Would you believe? No. Abigail. Can we light up? Yeah. Would you believe the one thing that I'm here for, they're out of her size. So, 8 and 12. 
I can pack an alpaca. You load him up before he spits. It's like a game from Israel. So I had to go to another Dollar General. Good thing they're on every corner. And a woman there was using three transactions for three coupons. Which I probably could have done that too. Didn't know I could do that. Thought I could only use one. Okay. So... I got a bunch of stuff, including this, which I cannot find at Walmart. It is an 11 cup. It's not a Pyrex. It's an Anchor Hawking. And I hate the other ones that I have because the lids don't go on it. They fall right off. Uh, this one's Snug Fit. So they changed their containers. Plus Snug Fit lid. Tempered glass so you can cook. Cook and store, and that's all I wanted. And they're only $5, which is cheaper than the Pyrex. So, uh, time to go in now. Good morning, good morning. Hey, Rudy. We're gonna go ahead and wash the porch off. It gets very disgusting very quickly, so about every week this needs to be deep cleaned. Um, especially because all of the wind, for some reason, brings it in instead of ever out that way. It's always inwards. So, it's time to wash it. I gotta move everything off of here and wash it and clean it off. And all of Rudy's hair has to be blown off of here as well. Is that right? Kitty, what? My cat. Oh my God, Kitty, what? 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 Daddy's clever of cleaning that place. He's clever? Yeah. Yeah, he's the cleverest. How could he do that? Uh, well, he took everything off literally. And he's washing it with a broom. And some soap and water. Well, now I think he's rinsing it now. But yeah, he's really done a good job. And there's my table I want to bring in. There's my table I want to bring in. <laughs> so I ended up putting the fire pit down here so we could have a seating area. And I'm going to put my fountain right there. Yeah, we're getting it done, huh? The only thing, I hate maintenance because I'm trying to do something else. And maintenance is taking all my time. So, uh, to talk about being self-reliant um, it's come to light like several times in my life where I thought that I was better friends with somebody than I actually was um, and most recently it's kind of like when you have a, a friend group and like you feel attached to certain people and you do stuff together right um, and you talk together and like I don't know, you just have a good time, and you end up helping that person quite a lot. Um, when other people want to break off and they leave, it's like, well, you know, I gotta look out for me. I gotta look out for myself. The, this, this happened and, you know, I just, I have to, I have to do what's best for me. Me, me, me. I'm looking out for me. Um, Sorry to put you in a, in a difficult situation, but, you know, I gotta do what's best for me. It's, it's almost like a breakup. It's like these many heartbreaks that I've had over the past two years, and just like working with people, and I can tell you that all people in all countries, they're basically the same. They have the same needs, they have the same wants, literally. It doesn't matter where you live, how you live, what class you're in, what race you are. Everybody has the same needs and the same wants and pretty much everybody is looking out for only themselves. Now for me, and I found a couple of people like me, they want to help the group. They want the group to be like a collective and everybody be, you know, everybody be good in that group. And I would have to say that, uh, let's see, 75% of people are all for themselves. 25% are for a group, are for helping each other but when push comes to shove 10% of that group will flake out 
So that's that's what I've come to find out. And it's not, it's like even different times in my life. It's It's happened every single time. And it works out that way every single time. It's kind of, when you go through a breakup, breakup's probably one of the hardest things besides a death. And even then, someone dying can be easier than breaking up because you still have to see that person. And you're reminded of them constantly. And that it's, the pain just keeps going on because you see them and then, and then you see them happy. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, but you just, you, you have to be self-reliant. I've had a horrible, horrible, horrible breakup from one guy. You, you probably can guess who, but I had a horrible breakup with him. Um, and he liked to control my life, and he ended up controlling my life even after we broke up, which was insane, but... Yeah. And like Robin Williams has like the perfect quote um about being surrounded by people but still being lonely and if you feel that way and you have somebody with you that's like the worst feeling. But it kind of gets worse when you break up. You go through this whole period when you break up with somebody that's like so incredibly painful. I never, ever want to do that again, ever. But sometimes when you have a work situation and you like quit working with people, that feels like a breakup to me in some ways. It's very sad. I don't like, I don't like to change. I don't like change. You know what I mean? So that, that can be quite sad for me. Um, so anyway, we're going through a bit of a change at work. <laughs> and um, I am dealing with it the best that I can. I feel a little shunned. Uh, I, I am grateful for the people who stuck with me. But I feel a little shunned. Of course, that has nothing to do with YouTube. But, you know... As one person likes to say, it is what it is. I hate that saying. I hate that saying with a passion. It is what it is. Well, yeah. Why are you even saying that? Of course it is what it is. Um, I hate the... When I was losing a baby. Uh, losing a pregnancy. I kept getting... It's God's will. Do you know how angry that made me? You don't want to hear something like that when you're losing a baby. <laughs> it's God's will. I won't say any more about that. I believe in God's will, yes. You don't need to tell me about it while I'm losing my baby. Okay. <laughs> I, I've had some... So... It's probably just me, too, because of, like, I've asked Hadar, have you gotten stupid comments like this before while you were going through through this? And no, he doesn't. I think I'm the only one who gets stupid comments when I'm going through, like, the, the hardest times of my life, and people know it. Like, uh, a guy walks in in Israel while I'm having my miscarriage, and he says, Happy Fourth of July! So every 4th of July, like, I dread. I dread it. I'm trying to celebrate it every year. But I freaking dread it. And I'm, rel I'm reminded of it because of that guy. Ran in. Happy 4th of July. Oh, America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, just stupid, stupid comments. Just don't talk to me. Don't talk to me while I'm going through something, okay? Anyway. Yeah, be self-reliant, ask for help <laughs> when you need it. Don't expect it because you probably won't get it or you won't get the help that you actually need. You'll get some other kind of help which won't help you. It'll be detrimental to you 
and don't take bad advice when you know that it's bad. Just because it was good for somebody else doesn't mean it's good for you. I have done that so many times. So let me just be like a normal person, take this person's advice because they're normal, and do it. Normal people have normal things happen to them. I do not. I have abnormal, stupid things happen to me. It's just stupid. So I can't take people's normal ass advice. Excuse my language. <laughs> Going through something right now. I'll get over it for sure in the next couple of months, but um, uh, change is difficult. Change is necessary. Change is hard. But change has always actually only ever been good. So I'm going to go with the flow and uh, do what normal people do right now and get over it. <laughs> okay, so I will see you later. Thank you for watching this vlog. Got a lot of nice things from Dollar General. How about that? And I'll probably be doing some meal prep really soon because I want to fill my freezer with fresh made meals and freeze them and free cook them. All right, have a good evening. Hope you're doing well. Bye. She's like, are you gonna go over here? Go, go lay down with me. That's how I hurt my breathing in the first place. I was eating something that had powder on it and I inhaled it while I was eating. Can you read my lips? What I want to do today? Watch TV. Wow, I'm so smart. <laughs>